Yeah, I think we can definitely look for a good test here. This horse presents a really beautiful outline, a beautiful picture. Pretty darn consistent in this phase. Looking forward to seeing this test. Boyd is currently um, in first place on a 30.7 on tester leg. It was a beautiful test. Yeah, the only thing keeping that from being a, a solid 8, 9 was just a little bit not, mo not immobile mm -hmm. in, the, in the halt. But you can see that's a beautiful medium trot. Boyd kept the horse very nicely connected and up a hill, sitting down the balance. We were talking about the difference in some of these horses, right? If the more they can be sitting and carrying themselves, it makes these movements so much easier. Absolutely, yeah. I'm sure it definitely helps be married to such a beautiful dressage rider <laughs> like this, like Sofa, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. Get some inside pointers. You said it. Boy, that's lovely. See how still his hands mm -hmm. are? Horse is just staying very through. Nice transition back. Very interesting because this horse may not have the same real flamboyant movement of a couple of the other horses, but he's just very, very steady. Doesn't throw any, doesn't really give away any points. Um, can show a really good medium and extended trot. This is such a lovely horse. Three very nice gates. Beautiful overstep. Four clear beats in the walk. Getting a little bit distracted <laughs> there in the medium walk. Just Boy, it's like, hey, stay yeah, with me. Yeah. Get, get Pay back attention. here. <laughs> Come on. It's not over yet. <laughs> That was very nice Good, yeah. strike off into the canner. Setting up for the first of the four changes. Oop. Oop. A little bit expressive there. A little there. fractious there. <laughs> While the sun is out and it's beautiful, it's still a little bit brisk. There's a bit of breeze in the air, so these horses are probably feeling a little frisky this mm -hmm. morning. Yeah, it's strange for this Ooh. horse. Ooh. It's hard when they get tight and bouncing really like that yeah. to be able to sit down on them. Boy, did a good job to get things put right back together to get into this right half pass in the canter. Horse is just getting a little bit tight. You can see we're losing the, the horse's cadence, the horse's balance, right? Getting right. a little lower with his neck. Yep. That change was a little bit more manageable. You can tell you just a little bit, just a little bit wound up and tight. Board probably was being a little bit more conservative there with 
that extended canner. Yeah. Because again, we're going right then into having to lengthen the horse's neck, lengthen the reins, show the, a little bit of stretching. Yeah, so for, you know, for every horse rider combination or, you know, the, the rider really has, you know, an expectation for, for what they're hoping to get out of the test. And, um, you know, Arden's test uh, was maybe not going to be the winner, but I think she was really happy as far as where that horse is in the training. This horse, actually, I think Boyd would probably be a little bit disappoint disappointed because he can really throw down a very, very competitive test. Lovely trot work and just missed a little bit in the canner. Yep. He's smart. All right, so here we have Boyd Martin, Long Island Tea, owned by the Long Island Tea Syndicate. Boyd is out of order because, again, like a couple of the other riders, um, he is standing in fifth place on this horse on a 31.4. This horse is owned by the Long Island Tea Syndicate, 14-year-old Oldenburg Gelding, and they are coming off a 13th place finish at the Wellington Eventing Showcase. Boyd's another one that's here. He's done a great job at Stableview. He's um, brought a lot of people in, and he does a lot of hard work. They work all day, and... He's been very successful in the sport. Interesting, I never knew until I was doing my homework for this that his mother is American and she was a speed skater and his father was Australian cross country and they met at the 68 Olympics. You never know where you would meet somebody. Right, you? and you produce Boyd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unlucky there to have the A element down. And he has to kind of... Yeah, I think right. he had a bad fall on Saturday at Pine Top, what it, from what he said. But he did show on Sunday at Stableview in the $10,000 mini pre. Yeah, he rode through that well, right? Because sure the horse looked li like that was a little bit long from one to from A to B for that horse. And then having to settle a little bit yep. out of the turn mm -hmm. for this tall, airy vertical. And then rolling back and... Boyd saw that distance nice out of the turn, forward to the good spot at the oxer. See how he's shaped the turn there? Now yes. he's jumping to the next. That's right. Um, oh he's a good rider. So is the other girl, but I think she just didn't realize that it probably was going to distract the horse a bit. Oh, oh, oh boy. put the six in there and got up underneath that oxer a bit. And had an he probably should have stayed in the inside of the five. Right. But live and learn. He's got another horse, doesn't he? He does. Yeah, he is um, tied for third on uh, Tester Lake coming up soon. And was that a horse that he won Rolex on?